What a pain in the butt. Welcome to a very freezing First Ice New York edition. We're at one of the only places in the Tri-County, if we consider, I don't know, Westchester, Putnam, Duchess, that would be frozen right now. There is about four inches. We're gonna fish for whatever comes up. I might get the flags out later, but for now I wanna warm up and just jig for a little while. And it's the afternoon already, so this is only like a half day session. Okay, sorry if it's a little foggy in here. The camera might be a little foggy, but uh, we're in the safe confines of the ice shelter. I do have the heater with me, but right now I'm kind of overheated from uh, setting up all of the, uh, well, the shelter. Um, so we're gonna jig for a while, maybe all day. I don't know, we'll see how we feel. Uh, I definitely don't wanna have to move this again. So maybe I'll put some flags up in a little while, but first we're just gonna start simple jigging. We are in, wow, okay, like 21 feet of water. That's all right. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do. Okay, it's real simple, relatively large jig for how I normally do, well, no, not for a minnow. So we're gonna go shiner minnow, or size six hook on a relatively heavy tungsten jig head. We got two holes, the vex hole and the catch hole. And we'll send her down. Always a good day to be out on the ice. You see, can you see? Yeah, I think you can. My lure dropping. That's it dropping down and we're gonna go all the way to the bottom. See if there's any fish down there. Oh, now you can't see it. Lots of noises out here today, but don't worry folks. We got about four inches. I think this is a not, not a bad spot. There's stuff down there. I'm gonna, I might downsize in just a sec. Let's try a wax worm. I might even uh, put this minnow in the hut, but on the jaw jacker. That's what I'm considering. Oh, oh, that's just you, dude. There's a chase. Oh yeah, it's chasing. Halfway up in the water column. Oh, back down. There he is again. All right, well, we got some chasers. That's a good sign. Back down. This is, this is typical. Just gotta wait for the hungry one, and we'll be good. Are you the hungry one? Okay, folks, jaw jacker set. Don't really need a bell since it's right here, and I can see it on my graph anyway. Still looking good. Might not be what they want right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this guy on the uh, on the jaw jacker and do a little heavier duty spoon jigging with this guy. Maybe a minnow head on a spoon. Maybe this guy since he looks pretty beat anyway. Okay, so just got this uh, pretty straightforward uh, little spoon. No rattle or anything. Not a rattle spoon. And uh, we're gonna put this eh, minnow head on the end just for some scent, some visibility, some meat. Every time I start trying to make tea here, they start chasing or they start showing interest. It's hard to decide, do I keep trying to make tea? Is that the, the ticket or do I stop and only focus on the fish? Always remember to ventilate if you're gonna be doing any cooking or if you, you got a buddy heater, which I do have, but I don't really need it as long as I'm protected from the wind right now. Fish on, fish on what we got. It's a perch and we are gonna keep it and cook it. I don't care how small it is. There we go. This is gonna happen today. Ah, yes. So that's probably just what's been playing with us is perch, but now we can cook it. <laughs> it's too cold to do uh, Ikajime. I'm not even sure if I have that equipment with me. I'm, I probably do, but anyway, nice little perch for dinner or lunch as it as it were sweet all right folks i think we're close enough to a boil and 
what I'm concerned about now is uh, that I won't have enough isobutane to cook my fish. So this is good enough for tea time. Let's see what we got today. Okay, so you are looking at taiga or taiga tea. This is Russian tea. It's a blend, it's an herbal blend with uh, a bunch of different things. I'll list them down here, but uh, yeah, some of that's gonna leak out, that's okay. There's uh, like lingonberries, uh, Ivan tea, which is like an herb herbal tea of some sort, um, mountain ash. Anyway, I'll put the whole list. It's just an herbal tea, it's not caffeinated, but it's gonna hit the spot. I had some last night. It's a, It's got like a little bit of a fruity tang to it, but, but it's pretty subtle. It's a real good flavor, and it's supposed to have some good like vitality properties. So anyway, let's uh, put the thing back on the thing. Let it steep for a little bit, and hopefully we have enough gas for the perch. Okay, there's our taiga or taiga tea. It's got like a nice uh, brown, maybe a little bit of green in there color. It's ready to be consumed. Okay, let's give it a taste. Mmm, beautiful. Yeah, I like anything with like kind of a, I, only way I can describe it is like earthy, rugged, rustic, but it's a, it's a good like natural flavor. And of course on a day like today, it's nice to have. As you can see, I've also start, started the buddy heater because it's getting a little chilly. At least my hands are, but I should ventilate. Always got to ventilate. Okay, so as many of you know, it's been my life, well, okay, so I've only been ice fishing for six years. This is my sixth season doing it, but I've never actually cooked my own fish on the ice. Well, except for Minnesota, but that was kind of at like a resort in a fancy like, uh, you know, sleeper cabin. But um, so this is like the real deal. Hopefully uh, I have enough gas to cook this perch, but I'm gonna just, we're gonna keep it super simple. I'm gonna scale it, I'm gonna gut it, and then we're just gonna cook it like that. Yes, a scaler would be nice right now. But... And a cutting board. Oh, that was stupid. Luckily, it's not a sharp knife. Should be some blood coming out soon, though, of me. Now, when I tried to do this last March, I got past this point, but then I dropped the damn thing through the hole in the ice. So we gotta be just make sure that doesn't happen. All right, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the head and the red fins just in case um, you know I got you know a game warden or somebody came and wanted to know what I was cooking. Um, they'll know that this was definitely a yellow perch, uh, and like I'm not keeping an undersized fish or anything. So. I feel like that's evidence enough. Oh, this guy was full of eggs. Girl, this girl was full of eggs. Not gonna do, we're not gonna, well, should we? Maybe we should. In the butter. You know what? Why the f not? Perch row. All right, just gonna give this guy a rinse and not lose him down the hole. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna put him over here, away from the ice hole. And now we could actually get started cooking it. Okay, so it's really just got to, uh, we got some butter there that I brought. There's the, uh, the eggs that are gonna mix with the butter, I guess, and our perch. I'm gonna get that heated up again and hopefully we have enough gas to cook this damn thing. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. All right, you wouldn't believe. This stove, it crapped out on me last weekend, and it crapped out on me again. Something with the clicker, you know, if I had a lighter, I could actually make it work anyway, but the, the clicker that makes the spark was, uh, now I gotta protect it with my life, because I fixed it. Uh, I don't know, it just gets stuck sometimes. So, the stove is on, the butter 
is melting with the uh, the row on top, and then I'm just gonna add the perch, and we're gonna we're gonna get this done, man. Man, everything is trying to all these forces conspiring against me. I know there's rust in this pan, and I know there's a way to make the rust leave the pan, but it's not my concern right now. Okay, here's our perch. Just gonna wait till that butter melts, and then we'll do this. Damn it, now I'm cramping up. There we go. Little fish fry. It's kind of on an angle. Might be catching a fish right now. Come on. No, damn it. I'd say that's pretty well done. Eats off. We got some perch to eat. Let's just let it cool down a little bit and do a tasting. Okay, guys, it's that time we've been waiting for. We got our eggs. And our, I didn't know the eggs were gonna stay together. I thought they'd kind of spread out in the butter, but they stayed in a nice little package. The skein, as they call it. So we're gonna do the eggs first. This is just butter. This is just eggs and butter and perch and butter. Here we go. Little fishy. It's got that like couscous texture, but perfectly palatable. So it's got some protein, you know. Tastes like the perch it came from, I think, because we're about to try it. I'm just gonna eat this like a gosh darn caveman here. Excellent, excellent. You see this smile? Got bones, got scales, got fins, but guess what? When you're on the ice, doesn't matter. Just spit them anywhere. Nobody cares. No one's here. That is a tasty, buttery, fresh caught perch. That's real good. Not even, not even as fishy as I would expect. Fantastic. Flaky, fresh, and hearty. Really hits the spot out here on a freezing winter day. Cool. Okay, I can strike that off the bucket list. Maybe next time it'll be something more substantial. Maybe we'll even catch some more fish today. Damn. I really am the only one here. When I first got here, when I pulled in, there were like five, five shelters out here. But they, I guess, did the, the morning shift and on the afternoon shift. Ice seems okay, though. You always feel better when there's other people out here, but oh well. Oh, maybe I'll set a tip up or two just for the final out, a couple hours, but it's cold out and that's a lot of work. Well, guys, I decided I'm not going to mess with tip-ups today because, first of all, I'm probably coming right back out tomorrow since we have such a little window, I think, right now. Just in the lap of luxury here, I think, and I only have maybe an hour left. But if that's all that happens, I was able to do something I've really wanted to do. I know there's much more complicated meals that people cook on the ice, but it's just something I wanted to, like get done this winter so I did that and now maybe I'll have opportunities to do something a little more uh, involved. On a more serious note you guys I just wanted to thank everybody for uh, your support over the last few months. Um, I made a video back in October where I kind of divulged about as much as I want to divulge about some stuff that's been going on with me but I want to let you know that I'm feeling a lot better, I'm feeling a lot more motivated, and it's in no small part to the encouragement and the comments and the support that I get from, from you guys. So I wanted you to know that that's really appreciated. 
and I'm in a much better place right now and uh, I'm having a great time. Now I do have a real job that does require a significant amount of my attention so there still may be periods of time where you don't hear from me but anyway just wanted to give you that update that things are good and uh, and I hope everything's good for you. I hope you like this little one. There's probably gonna be another one from this same weekend coming out, I don't know, at some point. But that might be it for today. So please like, please subscribe, love you all, and as always, fish like no one's watching. Peace.